This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the MI-24P Hind. We're looking at the Sturm 80GM, the anti-tank missile. There are two main modes of using this. One, in multi-crew, where you've got two humans in the helicopter, and two, just one human in the helicopter working with an AI. Today, we're looking at multi-crew, myself and RC. Say hello, RC. Hello. I'm going to start out in the pilot seat. RC will be in the operator's seat. I'm in the driver's seat now. Let's arm up. We can have the Sturms on stations one, two, five, and six. Two on each station, giving us a total of eight. And that's what we're going to do here. These are SACLOS missiles. Semi-automatic command line of sight driven by radio they will be guided all the way to the target by the operator in the front maximum range around 5,000 meters about three miles so first set up for the pilot let's get rid of that check us right circuit breaker panel all of the circuit breakers are up if they're not pull the handle up and now they are next auxiliary stores light on Next, armament panel. RC is now doing his setup in the front cockpit, which we'll go through later, and you can see the station lights are coming online. So, ranging, first of all, automatic. Sight, on. Weapon selector, make sure it's in the fully anti-clockwise position to off or missile. Fire control, similar to master arm, on. If we want to jettison the actual missile launchers, we can do that by opening that and then putting this switch up, but we don't want to do that right now. Next, gun sight, very simple, sync. We must sync our gun sight with the operator's gun sight. Also, automatic. Next, I'm gonna let RC finish off his setup in the front seat, and then we'll take off. We're in the air now, RC's finished setting up. First thing I'm gonna do is find the target and communicate with RC. Multi-crew is all about communication, and success depends on it. So, our target is 40 degrees right, 30 degrees right, 20 degrees right, if you haven't seen it, valid viewers, it's there, 15 degrees right, 10 degrees right, on the nose now, and then I'm going to level off, look at target, now, I'm going to have to pause it, I'm going to have to pause it here, because there's no way I can describe it, my gun sight essentially is this here, it's a fixed manual reticle, this one here that's dancing about is actually RC's reticle, if you like, it's a separate gun sight, and he can control that himself, what he'll do is put that on a target, when he's got it on his target, he'll tell me that he has a target found, at that point, I need to move my reticle on top of his, when that happens, we'll get a tone, he'll get a tone, and I'll get an audio tone, at which point he can fire his sackcloth missiles, then I've got to tell him that we are off target, and then I can pull away. Go! That's right, so you can get to me with me and tell me when you're getting settled. I'm, set, I'm there. Right, I'm going to chase his cursor down, uh, his uh, reticle down, sorry. He's aiming over here, look, at that guy there. I'm now going to put mine on his, which is not easy. I've got the tone, he's fired the missile. Good hit! I'm Bam. turning around. Let's go one more for the Valley viewers. I have to tell him I'm off target, I'm turning away, away, and I have to do that because he has to shut his sight down. If he leaves his sight fully open, when I make the turn away, I'll actually damage his sight. But that's why I have to tell him when I'm about to turn. Generally speaking, viewers, I would say try and keep your, until you're a good team, try and keep your speed down. It gives him the maximum uh, time to get on target. When you're really good, then you can buzz along it. Okay, this one gonna have a much shorter run up, but I'll try and keep the speed down a little. 30 degrees right. 20 degrees right, 10 degrees right, on target. Okay. Uh, oh, I did. Uh, hang on. Gotta do this. Alright, where's my targets? Alright, I am on target. Okay, we've got time. I'm chasing your, your guy. Ah, come on, left rudder. I'm not gonna... We might make it. Can you get it? Can you get it? Yes! Haha! <laughs> we got it! We're falling. Okay. We got it. Well, I, got, I got the oh. plate. I got the plate. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was good. Right. I'm just going to pause it there. <laughs> I mean, that shows right. how to do it and how not to do it. So we had one where everyone was, you know, all set up beforehand. We were flying lovely and straight and it was fine. Plenty of altitude. And the second one 
I don't know. You, you probably forget to set your radiation or something. I don't know. I whatever. had to change my pylon and reset so radiation. Change, and so and so, what we did is end up leaving it to the last minute. At which point, we're both panicking, and I nearly crash, and 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 the missile hit. So I think that's that's fine. It's a good thing to show. What we're going to do now is reset the entire uh, sim now with the same loadout, but with me in the front. So before we even get in the helicopter, we need to talk about the controls of the operator. So the first thing is moving the gun sight around. There are one, two, three, four ways of doing that. The first way is if I go to the MI24P sim in here, and if I go to axes, then I can set these guys up. Aiming station, left, right, up, down as axes. And I've got them set up as a kind of axes uh, four-way control on one of my hotels. That's one way of doing it. We've got these binary commands, 9K113. That's the name of the site, by the way. Uh, uh, full stop, that and that. And then you can bind maybe your cursor keys or, or whatever you want to that. Or we've got MI24P aiming station that we can use. And we go to axis commands. We can set our joystick to move the site around which is probably what I'll do today so I've set obviously left and right stick forwards and back stick or you can do your mouse in fact I think mouse is done automatically uh, but you can see mouse is set up there so there's four different ways of aiming it find whichever way is least awkward that would be my advice from the limited testing we've done so far as well as that we need other commands to bring up the aiming station and we'll be constantly bringing the station up and putting it away as you'll see we need to go to sim and aiming profile on off next imagine that the gun sight is a camera imagine as soon as you're not taking a picture you want to shut the camera lens to protect the camera well that's exactly what you need to do with the 9k113 so as soon as i fired my missile I want to close the uh, the shutter. Um, it's going to be observe. It's toggleable, so you press observe, it, the shutter opens. You press observe again, it closes. It's imperative we do not have the shutter open when RC is doing general maneuvers and maneuvering around because we can damage the gyros and break it. As well as that, once I fired the missile I've got selected, I must press radiation reset. That is to reset my radio connection with the next missile available. Another useful one that I probably forget to use is center. We can center. It uh, in terms of slew. To fire the weapon, press and hold via Sturm, I believe, for 0 0.9 seconds. Next, we're going to show setting up the weapons on the ground from the operator's point of view. I'm in the operator's seat now. We've just armed up. So let's get these weapons set. First of all, we need to arm the safety switches. Ping, armed. Over to the armor panel here. Missile power, USR, on. Next, next, our station selector power on and we actually choose which of the eight in this case weapons we can fire manually and we'll go through that shortly next back here can be hard to see uh, GUID unit power on according to the manual we should check also that this work check is to the left and the green light is on we are going to be looking for when the system's warmed up ready NS to be lit it takes about three minutes so we are gonna wait until that happens stand by and three minutes has elapsed, ready NS is showing there, and ready is showing there. Let's show the cycle of how I would fire the missile on the ground. So I'm going to select right click to missile one. Next, I'm going to engage the sights with the aiming profile button that we saw earlier. We're now in the sight. Now we must press observe to open the shutters. And there we go. Ignore the tone. That means that my sight is aligned with RC sight, which it is at the moment. I'm going to use either of the four control methods to move around. You can see I can move up to 60 degrees left, as shown by these guys uh, around the bottom, the numbers you can see. I'm going to go to 60 degrees right, I can go up and I can go down. When I'm moving the site, you can see that little red helper arrowing arrow telling me where to go. Uh, if I press left win and hotel, I get some helper commands telling me how to zoom in. Uh, you can do it with the key command or you can actually do it with the mouse. So I can zoom in with the mouse like that, mouse scroll wheel. How I can move up, down and left and right with the standard keys. How I can put an orange filter on, how I can put a laser protect on, how I can put a steering helper, which just means that arrow on or off. How I can launch the missile, or though I'm actually going to use the command that we looked at earlier and we can now get rid of that. The principle will be very simple. When RC tells me that he's flying on target, I will press observe. I will then be able to see. I will then select the target by moving my sight onto it with my joystick in this case. I will hold, do my best to hold it onto target and this can get a bit awkward in Moldy Crew. At that point, RC will aim his reticle onto my reticle. When I A, hear the tone, B, there is an orange light near the top of the sight, I'm good to fire. At that point, I press and hold the button, fire, and it's critical at that point 
to keep my sight directly on the target because I'm controlling that missile until it impacts. As soon as I've hit the target, pretty much assuming I'm not going to do another shot, then I'll press observe to close the shutters. I will also then press radiation reset, which will link me to my next missile. I will get out of the sight. I will move to the next missile and then we'll wait for RC to come around for another shot. I wouldn't suggest doing multiple shots on one run until you've got a good at it, which we're certainly not. So I'm going to reset everything back to zero. RC, take it away. Welcome back. Weapon select. Wait until ordered before we go in the gun sight. I call it, keep calling it a gun sight. I know it's not a gun sight. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, before you open up the doors. Okay, you're ready to go. Back. In... 10 degrees off. And observe. Alright. Right, I'm steering towards the target. I'm getting the one on the right, aiming towards it. I'm on it pretty much as best I can, so let's get you on that one on the right. Okay. Okay, just fine touches here. If it looks a bit... Okay, I'm going to fire very shortly. We're just going to get ourselves all, right. all lined up. Fired. You see that little bit of glitching value, dudes? Unfortunately... It's not what we do about that at the moment. Okay, Come in on that we'll, when you're doing it. We'll go around again. What we had, though, I'm just going to pause it there. Oh, it's okay. annoying, so this is the first time it's done that. But what we had is some really bad desync where I was putting it left and kind of it was getting confused. As you'll see, it was jumping all over the place. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go around and do it again and uh, see if we can get a close, uh, a better run at it. In the meantime, I am going to um, observe. Close my shutters. I'm off. You can go off target now. I'm going to turn this go. off. Um, I need to press radiation reset. Can I do that outside of the site? Yes. Radiation on the, reset. On top of the uh, yeah. Next missile. Right, it's going to get some good distance. I'm not sure make what sure it was. Make sure you zoom too, because that'll make it easier to hit a target. Roger. Because I think it's easier to get a finer um, aim when you're in zoomed in than when you're all the way out. 20 degrees, 10 degrees, and on it. Okay, let's get this up there. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I am. Gonna go for I think it's the guy on the right. Just trying to get him there now. Whoopsie, and I've got full control now. I'm preparing to fire and fire and keep on the target, keep on the target, keep on the target. I've got my joystick inverse here, so it can be a little bit order to get him. Yeah, yeah super cap. Right, how about that? And if you're a good team, which we are absolutely not, uh, what you'd usually do at that point is you know you can get another shot in, but uh, on that run, but I'm not gonna do that. So that is well, that's, that's pretty much it for multi-crew Sturm firing. Obviously, it takes, like we said, a lot of teamwork and a lot of practice. And it doesn't help if you've got a big ping differential like we do. But, you know, so be it. Anything you want to add? Nope, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.